Hi, I'm Gretchen from Comics First. I'm here at Wizard World Philadelphia with Matthew Meyer, author and illustrator of the Night Parade of 100 Demons and the Hour of Meeting Evil Spirits. I heard that you actually grew up in the Philadelphia area, so what's it like to be back for a con? Uh, this is my first big con, so it's really exciting. I'm having a lot of fun. Have you, what's, your, what's your favorite costume you've seen so far? Oh man, there's too many. My wife and I are just sitting here like watching all the costumes go by. It's so much fun. Cons are a good place for people watching. Um, so tell me a bit about your books. Uh, how did you settle on illustrating yokai of all subjects? Well, I've always been interested in horror and folklore. They've just been something that's been with me for my whole life. So I lived in Japan for six years, and while I was there, I wanted to learn a little bit about the local folklore and you know what the local horror thing uh, scene was like. So. Uh, I did a little research, started learning about yokai, and it was just this awesome world that sort of opened up before me, and I fell into it, and I've been obsessed ever since. Awesome. Do you have a particular favorite yokai? I do. Uh, its name is Ao Andon. It is a blue-skinned demon that wears like a white robe, and it comes out after ghost storytelling parties. Uh, traditionally, they would tell 100 ghost stories during one night, and after each ghost story they would snuff out one candle and then the last uh, candle the 99th story everyone would go home because if they told the hundredth story and snuffed out that last candle a real ghost would appear and that ghost was the owl and on that's pretty awesome so um what was it like doing the research for your first book uh it was a little daunting because uh the books that i'm using as source material were all written hundreds of years ago so they're written they're handwritten they're not printed uh, which makes it very difficult to read the letters and you know the Japanese is a little archaic so it's difficult to translate uh, but it was really fun so even though it was difficult it didn't feel like work. Would you say that the process has gotten any easier as you've become more familiar with translating the language? Um, definitely I've gotten used to the old way of speaking, so that has helped. Uh, and the more I research, the more connections I find, like stories that interconnect with other stories. So uh, I feel like you learn about one yokai and you're learning about others as well. So there's a lot of cross-cultural poll uh, pollination going on there. That's really cool. So um, is your art digital? It starts out as a pencil sketch, and then I, uh, I have a tablet that I ink and paint it on digitally. That's really cool. Um, I've noticed that you've managed to like really incorporate the feel of traditional Japanese like woodblock printing. So like, how do you do that when you're working from sort of a digital medium? Um, well, it starts just with line work. Uh, a lot of the wood woodblock prints have a very strong line quality to them. So when I'm inking them, I make sure I think about the line quality and the line weight. And I have a lot of uh, woodblock prints that I use just as visual source material. Uh, so. I keep those around me and the, you know it stays as a visual inspiration so that helps me. That's really cool. Um, so I know that you ha currently have a Patreon project going on. So how does that work and how will it hopefully eventually turn into a third book? Um, so I published my first two books using Kickstarter to raise a whole lot of money to print the one book. Uh, and and Kickstarter is great for like a single project but for an ongoing project Patreon works a bit better. Everyone pledges like one or two dollars per month, and uh, during the month, I continue to produce new yokai translations and illustrations. And at the end of every month, everyone gets charged, and uh, because of all their collaboration, it provides a small income that allows me to keep creating. And once I've got about a hundred illustrations finished, I'm going to compile them into a third book. So, how many illustrations do you think you do about a month? Per month, I average about three or four. Um, mainly just because I have to work a day job as well, so there's only so much time in the day that I can spend painting. Okay. Well, thank you for uh, taking the time to talk to us. Uh, I'm Gretchen. This is Comics First. Um, is there anything you would like to plug before we go? Um, visit yokai.com. If you're interested in learning more about yokai, you can read all about them there. Great. So if you liked this video, like it. Uh, feel free to subscribe to our channel and visit us to see all of the rest of our content at comicsfirst.com. We're also on social media, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks for having me.